everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today is the Bosch dishwasher. How to keep it in tip top condition. Right, let's get cracking. And this is what we'll be covering today. Removing and cleaning the spray arms, removing and cleaning the filter, checking the impeller for any debris, checking the drainage hose and U-bend for any blockages, cleaning the door, and then finally running a dishwasher clean to make sure that your dishwasher is hygienically fresh. And you're gonna need your partner's toothbrush just to help with some of the cleaning. Lurks, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the dishwasher this time? Um, no. Remove the bottom tray from the dishwasher first and just put that safely to one side. And what we're gonna be doing is removing and cleaning both the spray arms. You've got one up here and you've got one at the bottom. Now the bottom one is easy to remove. You literally just lift it out. There we go. Then just take some hot soapy water and your partner's toothbrush and just clean out any debris from those holes. You might have bits of food in there or any bits of gunk and mold. This one is actually in pretty good condition. We just make sure all those holes are nice and clear. Then to put it back in, just pop it down and just spin it freely. And it's that simple. And then to remove the upper one, you just turn this screw slightly anti-clockwise, about 45 degrees, and then it just pops off. Again, like the other one, take your partner's toothbrush and make sure any holes are nice and clear. Also, there might be some blockages in the middle where the water goes through. So just check all that. Again, this one's pretty good. So this can go straight back on. So just slide it up into the groove there. And what you're doing is you're just turning it clockwise about 45 degrees to lock it in. So just push it upwards, lock it in, spin it round. And that's the two spray arms cleaned. Now to clean the filter, you need to switch off the dishwasher at the mains and it's best to unplug it as well, just to stop any power surges. And the filter that we want to remove is here. And there's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine. Now what you're doing with this filter is you're just turning it anti-clockwise a few turns. And then once that releases the catch, you can then just lift it out. The whole mechanism just comes out. Just turn it until you feel it loosen. And then lift. And as you can see, it's lifted away. Now we are really careful with our dishwasher, what we put in it, but look at that, that is disgusting. <laughs> that needs a really good clean. And you can see why water wouldn't be draining away properly or your dishes won't be coming out super clean. Before I clean all that, let's just check the wastewater pump. So what you'll need is you'll need a sponge because you need to get rid of any excess water in here and just squeeze that into a bucket. This gives you access to the wastewater pump propeller, which we're going to check, make sure there's no debris in there and that it spins freely. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water. Now I'll just speed this footage up. What you're basically doing is just keep putting that sponge in until all the water is out of there. Now what you can do is take a blunt instrument. It's easiest with a metal spoon. Make sure it's a decent quality spoon and not a rubbish one because otherwise it will bend and then you will be doing your Yuri Geller impression. Now what you're doing is you're just putting it behind this clip here and you're just levering out this clip once it pops out, you can then get your fingers on it and just pull it upwards. So just pull it up and it should just slide towards you. And there you can see down the bottom is the propeller. You just want to make sure that there's no debris in here and that this spins freely. So I'm just going to get my finger on it and just turn it, make sure that it spins freely. And this one is really good. So there's no problems here. But if you've got any debris or dirt or long hair in there, make sure you get that all nice and clear. Well, I'm happy with that. So we can just put the clip back in. What you're doing is you're just sliding it downwards. Once it slides all the way down, just push that inwards. And then you'll just hear the clip go in. And it should just pop in. And that's in nicely there. Right, let's go and clean the filter now. And there's a link above now about what to do if your fabric softener is not dispensing in your washing machine. 
Okay, this filter is absolutely disgusting. You don't want to be washing this in your washing up bowl because all of that is going to be going down the sink and blocking your sink. And then you'll be making another video about how to unblock your sink. So the best thing to do is take your wife's toothbrush or your partner's toothbrush and just get as much debris and dirt off as you can and just scrape it into the bin. Now we're really careful with what we put in our dishwasher. All the plates and cutlery, we make sure that all the food is off. But it's still got a good bit of dirt on this filter. So let's just get all this off. Once you've got as much of it off as you can, you can then put it in the washing up bowl. Fill that up with hot soapy water. And again, use your wife or partner's toothbrush and just give it a good clean. Just going to use some washing up liquid. Whilst I'm giving these two objects a good clean, there's a link above now on various how-to guides on all sorts of makes and models of washing machines. There's some really useful information in that playlist. Now I'll cut this footage short, but basically you're just giving this a really good clean with your toothbrush. Making sure it's spick and span and there's no dirt on it. looking good now just push it back on it just clips in very easily it's already on now we can put this back into the dishwasher now this is a fairly simple fit it just slides in and just push it down don't force it it should just go in very naturally and these arrows here should line up. That's when you know that it's screwed in properly. So just turn it clockwise until those two arrows line up and you'll feel it start to tighten. So it's getting tighter and tighter. And look at that, we are locked in. Absolutely fantastic. Now we're going to check the drainage hose and the U-bend. So you need to pull your dishwasher out. Just be careful not to pull it too far because obviously you've got the cold water feed hose and the drainage hose. And if we go to the back of the dishwasher, you'll see where the drainage hose goes into the drainage U-bend pipework. Now you will need a bucket for this just in case there's some water. So take the drainage hose out, get rid of any excess water into your bucket and then you'll just check in for any gunk and debris in here. This one's actually pretty good but if it was full of gunk you can clean that with a toothbrush. And the easiest way to check the drainage U-bend pipework is just take your mobile phone, stick it on the video setting with the camera light on and just video down in there. And you can see with this one, we've got lots of clear water, so there's no blockages in there. If there was a blockage, you can undo this U-bend pipework here and just clear it out and then screw that back on. Make sure you put the drainage hose back in before you push the dishwasher back into place. Be careful when you're pushing it back into place, you don't wanna damage any of the pipework. Whilst you've got the dishwasher pulled out, you can check the filter in the supply hose. I haven't actually covered it in this video because it's very unusual for that to get blocked up. And it's there just to capture bits of dirt and grit from the water supply. And now we want to keep the dishwasher hygienically fresh. So I've got some dishwasher cleaner here by Finish. Other brands are available. It's just got a small tab sticker on the top. You just peel that off. And then what you do is you just literally lay that down where a plate would go. Roll that back in, close the dishwasher door and just put it on the normal hottest cycle. So this can take about two hours. So just hit the start button. And then that will go through a normal cycle and it will use that dishwasher cleaner and just make sure that it's hygienically fresh. As you can see on the front of this dishwasher, there's a light up for the rinse aid and there's a link above now about how to top that up. And this is two hours later. So let's open the door, take out the empty dishwasher container and put that in the recycling. And now the sniff test and the sight test. I tell you what, this smells absolutely fresh as a daisy and it is sparkling clean inside. Absolutely fantastic. 
If you're not going to be using your dishwasher for quite a long time, it's best to leave the door ajar just to give it a bit of ventilation. What you can also do is just take a hot soapy cloth and just clean the door rubber seals on either side because these can get dirty and covered in bits of food. So it's a good idea to keep these nice and clean. Once you've done that, then you can just clean around the outer door here. Again, this will get bits of food and dirt on it. So just make sure that's all nice and clean. Time for a brew. Oh. Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.